Meghan and Harry, did they actually pay for the front cover of that Time magazine? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me. And of course, the beautiful scene behind me really needs no introduction. It is, of course, Westminster Abbey, home of so many royal, well, spectaculars, really. And if you do get a chance to come to London, and I often say this, I know, but if you do get a chance, put this down as one of the places to visit, not just because of the royal history, but simply because it's a marvellous piece of architecture. And I always, I don't know if you're like this, but when I go through doors and stuff like that, I kind of often wonder about the people who have gone before and whether they wonder about what we're going to be like in X amount of years time, you know, that sort of stuff. But it really is steeped in history. And it's one of those places that when you go round, you kind of, when you watch it back on the TV, you think, is it really like that? But it truly is. As ever, back to your royal story of the day, though. There's a lot of speculation rife in the media, and particularly online, about that uh, big sort of breaking royal story, or ex-royal, should we say, royal story of last week, when Harry and Meghan graced the front cover of Time magazine, as apparently the top 100 influencers, apparently were that influenced by them, they made the top 100. Of course, everybody was mocking about Prince Harry looking like a hairdresser, and her having a lot fuller hair than we'd ever remembered, the power pictures, all of that sort of stuff. That goes with the territory, as they both know now. That is the deal. They're micro-celebrities that basically are going to be picked apart for every single thing that they do. But then this story started to emerge online. The story was simply this. Did Harry and Meghan, in fact, pay 1.5 million to grace the front cover of such magazine? Now, it's interesting to note, as I've told you many times here on this show, magazines are in decline. They try anything to get you to buy them. I mean, if whether it's Harper's Bazaar, Vogue, Tatler, they gave them away, you know. In my company, we have a stand in the foyer. All those glosses are given free. It's the ads that supplement the magazine. And time, I assume, is no different because we get sent that free also. But what is the true story behind Harry and Meghan? Did they truly have to buy their way onto that front cover? Well, we put a call into time naturally and um, people were busy, didn't want to speak. But when you look at their sort of online credits and the things that uh, people will possibly have donated, for instance, for a charity cause. Now, that's the way some people do get the front cover, let me tell you. They don't necessarily get paid, but they will give so much to one of the associated charities that Time wish to endorse. Sometimes they do it anonymously so that there's no trace at all. But truly, this is what I believe happened. Time magazine knows the value of Harry and Meghan right now. It's a laughable sort of inclusion when you think, because alongside her is Britney Spears, kind of famous for trying to find freedom herself from the, uh, the problems with her own father. And then, of course, the ever-wonderful Dolly Parton, who truly did deserve the front cover and a lot more. But this is what I have found out so far. Basically, Harry and Meghan, yes, were given the front cover. Yes, they were given some freebies, including the clothes, the stylist, the choice of makeup artist, the location, all that sort of stuff. Were they paid? No. Did they pay the magazine? Well, according to very good sources, simply no. Well, if you think about it this way, Time magazine could not have bought the publicity that the ex royals have now given that magazine. It's gone around the world. We're talking about it. People are talking about it online. It hit all the newsstands, possibly for all the wrong reasons. But Time don't care because, you know, if you think about it, people are being reminded it's still in publication online and in print. Now, moving forward, a lot of people would say, well, you know, why would they want to appear on something like that? Well, they're trying to sort of rebrand themselves. Possibly this is yet another failure in a long list. But for Harry and Meghan, it's cost nothing. And it's again, one goal back to them, particularly on the week that it was Prince Harry's birthday. Everybody was talking about them once again. And she, Meghan, was forefront, centre and side. And that's exactly how she likes it. Neil Sean, Westminster Abbey, London.